Hello friends, we'll be discussing the reason or rather the objective of why we are understanding the chapter named as Ratio Analysis. Now, as we know or as we have learned about in the previous video, when it comes to Ratio Analysis, it is for the evaluation of performance. This is the core reason why ratio analysis is in existence right now. But apart from that, there are several different reasons why we have ratio analysis as a chapter here or why do we understand or why is it is the necessity to understand ratio analysis in the first part. So let's jot down those things and figure out what exactly are the objectives behind ratio analysis. So the first objective here is to understand which area requires more attention. Of course, when you're running a business, you cannot just put or focus all your attention on one specific area. You need to be multitasking, you need to have a lot of attention on different areas. So according to that, sometimes it happens that one of the area gets lacked out. So to understand this, the ratio analysis can help you in understanding which area requires more attention, which area requires more focus and accordingly you can go ahead and put more focus in that as compared to the other areas of your subject. The next objective is to judge the earning capacity of the enterprise. Of course, when you understand that the sales are going up, that means you clearly understand that the ratios are showing an upward trend. So that shows the earning capacity of the enterprise. So to judge this, on what basis will you judge it? It is on the basis of the ratio. You cannot just have a figure right in front of you and say that yes, this is my earning. You understand when you compare it with the previous ratios and see whether the upward trend is there or whether there is a downward trend. Accordingly, you can understand what is the earning capacity here or what is the profit that you have earned basically. It also helps you in giving a deeper analysis on what other things is what has been mentioned here. It is on profitability, solvency and efficiency. What is the profitability ratio that we have earned or how much profit can we earn? How much solvent we are? That means how much away are we from being bankrupt? How much severability or we can talk about what is the ratio regarding profitability, solvency and efficiency level we can attain is what ratio analysis helps you in. Now the next two advantages or rather we can talk about the objective is cross-sectional efficiency. Now, whichever industry you are dealing with, you need to have the best standards of the industry. That means you need to have a top-notch product quality. You need to have a top-notch service that will make your company stand apart where there is a tough competition between similar products being sold out. Let's take an example of the companies that are selling out mobile phones. You know every now and then there is a technological advancement and depending on that technological advancement, you have to be on the top notch. So what best you can provide to your customers is what they're looking out for and how this can be judged is with comparison of the ratios of sales. It can be with the comparison of the ratios of the cost in producing. What are the other things that are related to it can be judged via these cross-sectional analysis ratio. And the last part to this will be the projection making. That means you need to project where your company will stand in the next financial year. What is the target that you are setting up depending on these kind of ratios. So any kind of previous ratios that you have, based on that you will set up a new ratio or rather a new target, new percentage for yourself considering the previous performance that has been done, the technological advancement that you're supposed to get in, the kind of solvency that you have, the kind of profitability that you have, the kind of efficiency you have, depending on all these ratios, you can make a profitability or rather a projection regarding 
where your company will stand in the next few years down the line according to these ratios itself you will be able to determine or expect or judge at least at least where your company is going to stand in the next few years so these are the objectives that you need to determine or these are the objectives that you need to understand when it comes to ratio analysis being an integral and important part of your accounting statements so i hope this video was clarifying enough to give you the objectives of ratio analysis so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and keep subscribing to ikida